everybody, Ziv Simon here. I'm the creator of Surgical Master. Welcome to this video. And today is March 14th. Uh, 314 is a very special number. It actually represents the ratio between the circumference of a circle and its diameter. So this is the number pi, okay, 314 which is a number that never stops dividing. It's like a magical number that we all learned in math and we tried to memorize how many numbers after the decibel. I always got to maybe two or three. I wasn't very good at it. So, uh, but today is the International Pi Day. So I thought I would mention it to you. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the virtual patient file. I'm going to talk about how we get all this data from our CT scan, from uh, the models, um, some of the uh, optical scanning, how we take all this data and we merge it into one file, the virtual patient file, import it into the software and then do our computer guided planning for the case. Okay, so I'm going to make it really easy and simple for you. So the first thing that we need is a patient that is missing one or more teeth and what we'll do then will take an impression, and ideally the most accurate impression would be with uh, PVS, and ideally have some type of blue blueprint uh, that is in the form of a wax up. So ideally have an impression of the site uh, that is right now edentulous or partially edentulous, plus a type of blueprint that is the wax up. Now, we can take these two um, physical models and we can scan them optically or can, we can have a company scan them for us. And what this will do, this will create an STL file, which is a virtual file that we can then import into a software. It's a standard uh, three-dimensional virtual file, okay? So uh, PVS, wax up, and then we optically scan it ourselves if we have the equipment if we have an optical scanner or we send it to a company to do that the second thing we need to do we need to give the patient a prescription to have a CT scan done so we have a, a prescription for a CT scan the patient goes to uh, a radiologist or to a CT scan place or if you have a scan in your office you scan them yourself you still need a prescription and what we do then we get all the raw data that is called DICOM data. It's a bunch of files that we then, we will use to uh, virtually uh, uh, plan our case. And the format of the file is in DCM, .dcm, which is the raw data of the DICOM. So now we have two sets of data. We have the STL virtual model, we have the DICOM data. So here's the DCM and we have the STL. Now we take these two sets of data and we're going to go through a process called the merge. Okay, this is done in your software. And regardless which software you're using, it's the same process. DICOM data, STL data, all merge in the software and eventually the output is your virtual patient or virtual patient file that now you can use and again whichever software you're using you can plan your implant you have all the information you have the edentulous site you have the wax up you have the blueprint of how the restoration is going to look like and you can plan your implant accordingly with the DICOM data having all the anatomy and the restorative feedback. So that's uh, really ideal, okay? So look at it again. We have our patient that is missing one or more teeth. We will get the PVS, we'll get the wax up, and then eventually the STL data. Then we refer the patient for a scan. Okay, we get the DICOM data, okay, DCM files. Then we can take the DCM and the STL, we merge them, and eventually we get our patient 
file or the virtual patient file. And it so happens, if you look at the virtual uh, patient flow, we are looking at 314. I don't know how it happened. It was probably just by accident. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understand how we get the virtual patient file that will help us plan our implant procedure and get better, more accurate, and safer uh, outcomes for our patients. So I look forward to seeing and working with you in the future. Thank you.